So yesterday, Chum Lee from Pawn Stars, he basically bought a beta, a sealed beta deck. He opened it and he hit a ancestral recall. So the seller, his name is Steven. He had purchased this on eBay for about $30,000. He was originally asking for $40,000. Of course, with a sealed beta deck, you are obviously skeptical. So Chum bought in an expert. And even the expert, his advice to Chum was open it now. Because if it is fake, then you can get a refund. So again... The expert's advice to Chum was not to buy it sealed, but to open it and then see if it was real. And that was the only, and I get, that's very interesting pieces of advice to anyone in the vintage market. So this is a well-known expert. This is a person who does this for a living. And even he cannot tell from a this if it is resealed, right? The only way to know it's not resealed is to open it and see what's inside it and see if you get a hit or the cards are real. So Chum decides, he asked the expert, what would you pay? Expert says twenty three dollars to $25,000, but he would open it. Uh, Chum says twenty three, dollars and they go back to twenty five, And uh, Chum says, hey, if we pull a Black Lotus, uh, I will split it with you. So... Steven says, yeah, I want to see it open. I, I bought it for 30, 25,000 cash, and this economy is not bad. Plus, with the upside of the Black Lotus, right? Chum would have paid him out a ton of money. Um, and he, they opened it. So Chum flips his cards. It's two-headed giant, the red card. And uh, Steven, who is the one who sold it to him, flips his card, and it is Ancestral Recall, which... Chum says it's a top three card, which of course it is, Power 9. And instant regret by Steven for not opening it. Um, the quote grade, you know, they, they're saying that it's going to grade really well. The centering is very good. And obviously Chum is a kind of a known celebrity. So with these card grading companies, I'm sure they will give Chum the benefit of the doubt. And... Yeah, that was crazy. It was a really, really crazy thing to see uh, this type of card open, this type of product open on pawn stores. Uh, and Chum, obviously, you know, let's read the comments. Uh, there is some pretty funny comments. Of course, you look like a genius when you crack open the card, but if you had a farmstead or something else, you know. Well, let's read the comments. The seller should have at least asked for 30k to get his money back. Taking a loss and seeing a big pull from that pack is beyond brutal. Absolutely brutal for the seller. I thought I had bad luck until now. This guy instantly regretted his 25k deal. Chum was rubbing it in. Ha ha ha. What a complete burn for that guy. Oh god, such a cruel fate. This is the deck I almost won in an auction. I still have picks of the serial number. The guy outbid me two years ago. My max was 22k. Glad I got to see it opened. Chum should have given him the extra $5,000 so the guy could break even. I want to work with Pawn Stars full time. I love how everyone looked at them when they screamed. Chum hit the jackpot. Too bad the old man was not around to see it. That's insane how much cards these card those cards are worth. I just can't imagine people putting out that much money for a little printed playing card. Some weird kind of magic going on there. He should have counter offered 50-50 split on any high value cards, not just one. He should have bargained for half of any valuable card that the deck had. The guy's face when he knows he lost money on opening other boxes. And see, yo. Know, so the guy actually had mentioned that he had purchased multiple of these and um, didn't pull anything good from them. And then the one box that he goes to sell, he, you know, it's. I mean, they pull the. And such a recall is in this scenario. It's kind of the worst case scenario, right? Because if he blow, pulls a black lotus, he's good. 
if he pulls um, a Mox, I mean, only a Mox Sapphire, I think, would probably be. Time Walk, maybe. I don't know. Ancestral Recall is really, really good. The seller's face was hilarious. Looked like a script out of Wojak. Chum could have at least given him another 10 to 20k. Chum should have given him the 40k he first asked for. Seller took this really nice. Nice deck. I heard that one a few times. Very good for Chum. Great deal. I would be angry if I sold a pack for that much only to realize a good pull was there. But that is the trick with stuff like that. You never know until you open it. The poor geek that sold it. Wow. What loss. Man. Very funny though. Oh man. That hurt. Feel sorry for the seller. Seller should have said no to busting the deck or 25k and I get 50% of all cards in it. Producer should make this guy whole. He was hustled. That's the risk you take when dealing with a pawn shop. Nothing personal, just business. Here is a wild part. They weren't paying attention, but those were actually alpha rares. Sometimes they insert alpha rares into the beta starters as they have access left over. And they want to get, get them out to players. So he hit a huge card, but it's not 100k, even as a 10. Laugh out loud, no. <laughs> Laugh out loud, no. Uh, give that man another hundred dollars. Chum definitely doing the Birdman hand rub. Bought it online for thirty thousand dollars. A deck of cards, crazy. Yeah, that is. It's kind of. He bought it two years ago too during the big boon. This is a show. The guy doesn't lose money for sure. Someone who paid thirty k on a set of cards know what is the potential of the investment. Don't think he's gonna bring it to a pawn shop. So it could be scripted. Yeah. A lot of these are scripted, as we know, you know, from the other video games. They did those fake video games selling. But what what a um, what a pull, right? And the and the funny part was Chum took a card, so there was two rares in the deck. Chum took a rare, and the other guy took a rare. It was the so Chum flipped his over, and his was the two headed giant, and the other guy flipped his over, <laughs> and it was a recall. Wow. Um, I wouldn't have touched that card with my bare hand. Talk about instant regret for selling that deck for 25k when the card was worth 150k. He had a knife in his throat. He barely, he could barely talk after seeing what he just sold for so much less. Black Lotus is the ultimate MTG card. It's a bit sus when in every episode when it's close, it's like a matter of dropping a deal for a few hundred dollars. But all of a sudden, they take a 30 grand risk and a 2 out of 60 chance they may hit the jackpot. Yeah, I mean, this is a. I mean, did you guys realize like there are other cards in it that suck, like Farmstead and, you know, uh, Demonic Hordes, I think is in it. There, there are some cards that are, are brutal rares. Um, even the Two Headed Giant is kind of a brutal rare. Um, yeah, I mean, it's um, it's a crazy card. It is a crazy card. Come on, 125k for a single card after opening, and you pay 25k for a deck that, and he wanted 40 at first. Are you willing to do the right thing and give the seller a percentage of what you end up selling it for? Wow, brutal.